Uh, this guy, his name was uh, D'Artagnan Brown, Dart Brown, uh, a friend of mine who was also an editor on the school paper. He thinks he heard about it from some musicians who were passing through Des Moines, and he happened to spend a, a, a late night with them and uh, got to talking about the music scene in general, and, uh, and uh, he thinks that's where he got it, from some musicians passing through town. The best line, but uh, in relevance to the Paul is Dead hoax, would be um, a line about, Are you putting the world on? Hey, Paul. And that would be four months before the whole Beatle mania machine was, was picking up. Terry Knight was a new singer. Apple Records made their announcement in early 1968 that they were going to cultivate talent. I mean, zillions of people flocked to London to get their piece of the apple pie. And Terry Knight certainly was the kind of guy who would, who would get there pretty early and pretty aggressively. He was there on that fateful evening of, I believe it was, August, the end of August 1968 when the Beatles were in the studio. He was up to getting a record contract with Apple <coughs> Records, but obviously it got canceled. So he goes back, probably really traumatized by not scoring that audition, seeing the Beatles disintegrate before his very eyes, and jotted down a little song. You knew it all along. Something had gone wrong. When it first came out in May of 1969, it was published by Storybook, which was Terry Knight's publishing house. Once they heard about this record being issued, they uh, issued a cease and desist order, and something was worked out. And a month later, it's reissued by McClen. That is uh, Paul McCartney and John Lennon's label. McClen Music was the, um, was the publishing organ for the four Beatles, and in this one instance, Terry Knight St. Paul.